Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we decide to combine your two favorite things, or three. Coins, Prince Rupert's drop, and Hydraulic Press. And how we are going to combine these, you ask? By testing which is the strongest. So the idea is to crush Prince Rupert's drop between two coin piles. And then we have three options. Either the press isn't strong enough, which is not the case. Or Rupert's drop explodes, or coins break before the hardened glass drop. And if you have seen our previous videos about the Rupert's drops, these are extremely hard. So I think they are going to just go through coins like play do. Then explode when we start to apply force with the steel tools. But only one way to know. And as usual, we have our uh, 240 ton force sensor. So you can see how much force we are applying at all points. This should get over 50 tons, so that's a lot for the coins to ask for. Okay, seems to work. Ah. I don't really see what is going on. Huh? 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 Hey, let's have a look. <laughs> Something is going on. Okay, what the hell? There was already 10 tons, which is a quite large amount of force for the piece of glass size of your thumb end of thumb or something like that. I think the uh, drop one and the coins lose. Okay, we are going to open the safety box and carefully check the situation. There is a piece of coin, like, ah! like really thin, what? thin piece of brass or copper or what oh. is this. And I put that away. And there is the uh, one of the coins. So the glass drop, just squished the coins out of the way. And the uh, green stuff is play do to hold the coins up there. So these weren't match at all for the Rupert drop. But uh, we have also other coins. We can try to find a bit harder coins and then we try again. Okay, new try. We have different type of coins. I'm not sure are these aluminium or something else. Probably a bit mix of aluminium or something else. And let's see if we have any different result. Okay. Huh? Uh, let's have a let's let's go. Let's freaking go. And let's have a look at uh, what 50 tons does for the pile of coins and glass drop. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so here's the end result. And uh, I think you can hear and hopefully also see on the video how each coin like gets cut in two pieces by the glass drop. It's the like thumping sound. And then there is the like uh, remains of the glass drop. And this is also interesting. Uh, the 
coin keeps the uh, Rupert's drop in. So it didn't fly everywhere. I don't want to maybe touch it by my bare hand. I think it could like get stick on your skin. But this feels like really fine sugar or salt, like dust sugar. I think this is first time when I see what is the remindings of the actual Rupert's drop when it goes, because usually this stuff flies really fast away. And we have destroyed Rupert's drops with like trillion times with all the different methods. Here is actually a cool compilation about everything that we have done for this. Now we have crushed them many times and I think this is the best crush where we got, uh, I think it was 60 tons of force to crush one of the drops. Pretty same size that we did today, but there it flies away. Then we tested uh, how dangerous the shrapnel is and it like sticks to your skin with the press or without, but it's not super dangerous. Here is the uh, pellet drive followed by a uh, tail of the drop. 1 million frames per second, so this is pretty nice. I think this is the uh, best slow motion of the Rupert's drop breaking in the internet. And then we tried the first fastest press. I think this wasn't enough to destroy the drops. It's always the tail with this one. And I have all the videos linked in the uh, description. Then we did many times underwater shots. And these were interesting, you can see how large shock wave the drop makes when it got destroyed under the water. Then we tried with explosives. It's hard to say what happens here. It's so like bright. And then one more at the underwater. I think the underwater one is one of my favorites. And if you have any ideas that we should do with these, we have still a couple left. And we can of course make always more. So if you have any ideas, please let us know. Yeah, but this is the first time when we actually capture the reminings of the uh, drop. I'm going to touch it. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's not super small, or okay, there is also super small stuff, but there's also larger stuff that feels pretty rough and sharp. It's not like sand at all. It's like, it's, it's like glass dust. Yeah, but I think this was a really interesting video. Hopefully you liked it. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have this uh, really colorful psychodog. Looks really harmless, but it's extremely dangerous and might act at any moment, so we have to deal with it. Mm.